Okay, Betsu99 has been out for quite a while, as you guys know. The last time I was really active in the game, it was when Petsim X was actually still the main game. And to be honest, the past few days, I've been quite addicted about Pet Simulator 99. And I'm going to show you guys my journey, what I've been doing, and what I got into. So as you can see, the only thing I've really done with this game is made sure to transfer over some of these pets to the new game, because I have no purpose for it in the old game. So let's do the last four huges, and then I am fully done with this. So we've arrived in the world of Pet Simulator 99. This game I have played on release. I did play it quite rigorously and I got to run like world 60. I had like one or two rebirths because that literally was everything that was available and in the game at that time. But now of course there's a ton more stuff. There's literally two extra worlds. There is going to be the new hype gifts. There is huge as so you can rehatch from everything and it is just quite crazy so like i said i have gotten back into this game around seven days ago i didn't think i would really make a video on this but i was like why not share my journey with you guys at home as well so my journey was pretty simple i literally just went ahead and just did the whole game i got myself nine rebirths make sure to rank along the way got myself two extra ranks because the last time i quit the game i was ranked 10 already when the game came out getting ranks was actually pretty easy because there were no real requirements like on you have to do something in the best area etc and when i played the game i actually had this enchant which is the story of today's video as you know pet simulator 99 has a lot of shop items including some of these limited items like the exclusive enchants the diamond gift hunter some of these hoverboards etc oh so we just to hatch the huge another one oh it's, it's titanic it's titanic holy shit <laughs> How did I catch that on video? That is crazy. Congratulations to the Titanic. This guy immediately left. Oh my god, that was insane. Yo. Okay, with that destruction out of the way. So I only bought one enchant when I played the game for the first time when it was released. And that enchant was this bad boy right here, the chest mimic. This chest mimic was worth like 20 million diamonds. It was quite okay, but it wasn't worth enough for me to get rid of it at the time. But going to the time zone of right now, this enchant is worth a whopping 1.88 billion gems. And you may be thinking, that is crazy. Is it because it's an old item? No, it's because there's currently a bug with the last area. It doesn't drop chest mimic, so people need this book to be able to progress their ranks. And a lot of the high-level players need this book right now, so that's why it's super expensive. So I literally returned at the right time where my super obscure book that I got at the start of playing Pet Simulator 99 is actually worth almost 2 billion gems. So I did the, what every sane player would do. I would rank up a little bit to get myself my last enchant over here. I of course don't have to rank 20, but I got myself to rank 11 one and then I went ahead and sold it on my booth. And then I did what everyone would do. I would buy myself a whole army of huge pets. And these things, guys, look absolutely amazing. Look at this for a view. That is just so, so good. Buying huge pets is not the only thing you can do. Of course, you have to make sure that they're the best things you can have. And to do that, it's simple. You just have to level your pets up to level 99 or buy them at 99. I didn't know you would have to have them at 99, so I didn't buy them as high. So I'm currently working on leveling them. So if you're doing the same as me, a quick tip for you. Buy yourself Overload Charm, Agility, and then the rest experience. So Overload gives you an extra charm slot in total because it gives you two, but it uses one, so it's one extra. Grab yourself one agility charm and then fill the rest with XP charms. The agility charm is going to make that the pets are going to attack things faster and it's actually worth more than one XP charm. And then you just go ahead and fill up all the NP slots with more XP charms because they do stack as well. That's what you do for every single pet. As you can see, some of these are lower level, so they have less slots than the higher ones. But once they reach level 99, they will have themselves six slots in total and then I can swap to the damage one. The best damage setup is going to be super simple. It's going to be a royalty charm and agility charm. And then you can choose if you want some glitter. So you can take two glitters and then one more damage. If you don't care about glitter, you just grab three damage gems in total. 
But that's not everything I had to do because I, of course, had to give myself my best and chance possible. But there is the new mastery system which blocks you from using the best ones unless your mastery is a high enough level. As you can see, you need level 70 to equip the highest tier and chance. So I had to go and, and do that as well. As you see, my fruit mastery is almost level 99 and we will get that 99 in today's video. So after I got myself my best slot setups, which is going to be 3 coins, 2 damage, 1 speed, 1 critical and 1 magnet. There is a better magnet. I sadly do not have enough gems for it currently because I do have to swap my whole pet team from XP to a different setup. So I don't know if I have enough gems to cover that currently. And for hatching, this is the best setup as well. It's three lucky eggs, then it's coins, coins, and three huge hunter. You can put two shiny hunter books here as well. But if you want to gather more coins while you're hatching, I would recommend these over here as well. The reason why these are the best loadouts is because there's diminishing returns on using more books. So you can, for example, use eight of these Lucky Egg books, but it's hardly going to make any difference but compared to three. But that's where we end up right now. So what I've done, I literally have cleared out the whole world. I got myself all the rebirths that exist and I am ranked 12 currently. So my goals right now are super simple. I want to try to keep up with the game. I have been AFK in the Kawaii world to get myself as much XP as possible. If I didn't need XP, I would actually go into the new color battle area and grind there because this color grind area is actually very, very, very good. The pets are worth a ton of money. As you see right here, if I scroll down, the best pet you can get from this area is the Chroma Tiger. And you can see there's one and a half thousand of these existing and these are already 43 million gems each as a normal hatch pet it's not even like a, a huge or anything like that you can literally just get this normal pet and it is just worth a ton of money you can as well turn the paint buckets into the color gifts which are worth 131,000 gems as well which is very good but i've been mainly donating my paint buckets into my clan which is uh my clan is called luck if you want to join of course be sure to uh apply as the leader over here as well uh but yeah i've been contributing those which is absolutely awesome but that has of course been my journey so far it's been a pretty epic one and i've been having a lot of fun i've been playing this game off camera for so many hours this past week so there's one more thing i want to do together with you guys and that's get myself a mastery to level 99 as you can see, I do have quite a few semi-high masteries. These are actually pretty expensive and they take a lot of time. Uh, but this fruit right here, I really want to get 199 because it makes me automatically eat the fruit in your inventory, which is very, very useful. I sadly use my 99 tickets on the pet's mastery. I still think it's a pretty good one. It probably is not the best one I could have used it for. So it is what it is. So the way I am getting myself my fruit rest to my 99 is I could buy the fruits separately. But if I buy this bundle of fruit, I as well get myself the gift mastery at the same time. So I just keep searching, joining, and just buying all the bundle of fruit. I don't really care about the money too much because I don't need that much anymore. I think it was like 100 to 150 million diamonds in total to get the level 99 fruit mastery. So if you want to do it the same way as I'm doing it, that's how much it cost me. After opening up thousands of the bags, we are now at 93 gift mastery and we are a little bit off level 99. So it's time to go ahead and get myself my first 99 I've actually done myself, which is pretty awesome. I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's just go ahead and use all the fruit besides a little bit. So I have, I have stuff to auto use as well. And boom, this should be enough to reach level 99. 3, 2, 1, boom, there we go. We can now have level 99 automatically eat the fruit, get bonuses from it, which is absolutely awesome. So we now have level 99 fruit mastery, which is beautiful as a noob back here. And now we can turn this on and it will automatically start eating all my food, which is awesome. I have to buy a little bit of extra food because I want to make sure, of course, I do not run out. But that's so, so good. It's going to eat all my rainbow fruit. My apples, my oranges, bananas, all the other stuff that is so, so nice. As you can see, in grand total, I made 451,000 rainbow fruits. So that's how many you need to go ahead and make for level 99 fruit mastery. So I think to be honest, that's going to wrap up my video for today. From a noob, finding a book that I bought when the game released sold it and now i am back where everyone with a full team of huge pets level 99 masteries and more so 
If you have any tips about Pets of 99, leave them in the comment section down below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So, you guys, take care. Love, bye. Thanks so much for watching. And, of course, as well, take care, guys.